Now, in 2005, the movie Unleashed came out. Even little fucking kids, even little kids who saw that, even little motherfucking kids who saw that movie were smart enough to understand when a sick white devil wants to control you and give you pills and fuck with your mind and put a fucking leash around your fucking neck. It's sick. It's of the devil. Why do you think Darth Vader, his body armor was made out of metal so the Emperor could control him with his electric fucking bolts so he couldn't rebel against him? Now, it's common fucking sense. Are we to let a bunch of sick Danny DeVito fucks like Stalin and Hitler and fucking communists in Vietnam and North Korea and the re-education camps they try to control your behavior or they seek violent punishment and violent reprisals from the government this is, this is my answer to violent reprisals from the government for you expressing your freedom I say that when defending your individual rights and the rights of your children and descendants the blood of patriots must be shed for the tree of liberty to live on. What do you think it's watered with? Just like the forefathers have said. It's like Thomas fucking Jefferson said. Just like all those motherfuckers said. Quoted and quoted again. So what I what I fail to see, you know, one of the few things I fail to see is why there's not an even louder outcry. There's been an outcry against psychiatry since 1808. Since 1808. That's 203 years of people saying this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. And they say, oh, well, we know it's wrong, so we'll change it a little bit. We'll stop dumping them in water. We'll just put needles in their head through their eye and just wipe their brain like a window wiper into their cerebral cortex. And then, then, then when people in the 50s start saying this is wrong, it's wrong to give somebody a Nobel Prize for making people brain dead. You know? When people, when there's an outcry for it, what, what I fail to see is how society is so thick and fucking stupid that they would let a bunch of Nazi scientists on record give people pills for not going along with their fascist agenda. I mean, you've got to be fucking kidding me. When you got people like George Bush in the motherfucking... who's grandfather was on record Hitler's top banker I mean, what don't you get there's your banking fucking connection on record Von von Braun on record this German scientist you know the brain why, why would you build a fucking bomb control why do bankers fund all the sides control why do they give you these pills that are killing people to control society to control deviant behavior and to control the population is very straightforward. So are you to let a bunch of psycho Nazi bastards and their Uncle Tom foreign fucking physician goon squad drug you to death? Why, why not bring in a bunch of fucking more Nazis and have them drug you to death while they're at it? Because believe you me, in every hardworking country in the world, in every poor country where there's people dying to get out, they will sell their soul to the Illuminati and tell you it's okay to take that pill to keep paying their families and keep feeding themselves you understand me they want to keep they want to keep sending money back home to Vietnam and to India and to all the fucking places these foreign physicians come from okay and don't tell me you trust the local white devil physicians either because they're probably twice as bad so whether they're selling out because they're in a secret society or whether they're selling out because they're turning a blind eye to feed their family here and abroad and to make sure they can pay off their BMWs and their, you know, five, six bedroom house, you know, house note, mortgage, etc. That is what they have. That is the vested interest they have with the Illuminati. Isn't this very straightforward? Even a little kid can understand that, hey, hey, mommy, that Danny DeVito asshole, he's getting rich from my favorite superhero, Jet Li. My favorite actor, Jet Li, he's getting abused. He's getting abused, mommy, by some sick white devil who's controlling his mind and controlling his mind by controlling the environment and getting a certain reaction from him. Are we to then turn around and drug Jet Li and say there's something wrong with you? Are we to realize that he was put in a state of mind by a bunch of white devils who did it on purpose so they could drug him after the fact to control him further if need be?